Welcome to my channel. This video shows how to perform the S parameter analysis of a cascade common source amplifier in Cadence Virtuoso. Cascade amplifier design is already created with NMOS and PMOS transistors. The width of NMOS is 16 micro in 19 nanometer and width of PMOS is 20 micro. The amplifier is already designed. Check and save the design. Then similarly the test bench setup for a CS amplifier is already done with the DC supply voltage which is a VDD and V bias that is the bias potential for PMOS which is a negative so provided the 0 0.5 volt as a negative potential to PMOS and the ground supply voltage is minus 1 volt this is plus 1 volt this one is minus 1 volt since I am performing the S parameter analysis provide the input with the, the port so for that go to create instance in the analog library search for port click on ok now this is a port 0 at the input side and this is the port 1 at the output side Select this and press Q to check the object properties. This, pro, this particular port will provide a resistance of 50 ohm. If you want, you can change the value to 100 or you can name any variable so that it can be used for simulation. I am using it as 50 ohm resistor and the source type it is providing is sign. You can have different DC, pulse, exponential feed, piecewise linear, pseudo random bit sequence, and patterns. Anything. Right now, the source type is taken as sign. Similarly, on the port 1, you have 50 ohm resistance and sign. Just make the connections. Provide the grounds. Make these two connections using the wire. Check and save the design. Now the design is completed with the ports, that is, sources or terminations. Once the design is done, go to the launch. You can you can use any of this, like ADL, ADXL, and all of this. I'll go for ADL right now or ADXL. Click OK. It opens uh, the ADXL window. Click on this, click to add the test, CS underscore amplifier test, that's ok. Then right click to add the analysis. So select the SP, SP stands for S parameter. Once you select this, you need to provide the ports. Click on select to select the ports. That is port 0 I am selecting and port 1. Once this is done, they are loaded. And I have to perform a simulation from 10 hertz to 1 gigahertz. It's of choice. You can make it as 100 or you can go it to 500 mega 
or 100 mega whatever the frequency of simulation you prefer right now i'm setting the stop range to 1 gigahertz click on ok expression is loaded here go to ADE excel window see that analysis is loaded no design variables here straight away click on run simulation simulation is finished you can go to the results in the ADE excel editor results direct plot main form it opens a graphical user interface with a lot of options from here you can use z parameter y parameter h parameter like that we can find many things like gain of and other options noise figure and these right now i am interested in s parameters so select this function already the analysis is sp you can have different types of plot like rectangular polar any of these plots right now i am selecting the rectangular in this you can plot either directly the magnitude value or on the db20 scale the parameters to be plotted are s11 s12 s21 and s22 either you can add them to the outputs directly that means you can click here to add this and directly press on this so let me plot this magnitude for s11 so this is the response of s11 in magnitude scale similarly let me plot the s21 you can check it you, you can send that to move to a new window this is window 6 for s11 and this is for s21 in a similar manner you can plot the db20 scale now i have changed the modifier to db20 click on this see the change in the magnitude scale these two are different similarly you plot the db20 let me delete this see the difference for magnitude scale and db20 scale so with frequency with that is as the frequency increases the magnitude is falling so you have two parameters that is this one is magnitude and this one is as parameters if you want you can directly split them and find the individual values at uh, 0 0.5 and this is this is expressed in terms of db so like this you can evaluate the s parameters of any design